Joanna Ney. Hello. And I am uh, the Film Society of Lincoln Center's uh, consultant for uh -huh. Dance on Camera. And for the past 15 years, I've been Deirdre Tower's partner in this enterprise. Uh, Dance Films Association is one of the oldest educational dance institutions. Mm -hmm. And it's actually the 39th festival, but the 15th at the Walter Reed for yes. the Film Society. And uh, I think this year is one of the most diverse festivals. There's no one theme. Uh, we have one film of the ballet, we have female break dancers, we have Pina Bausch mm -hmm. choreography, we have short films from different countries, and we have even a film from Armenia about tightrope walkers, yeah. which is quite something unusual uh, this year. So it's hard to categorize. Um, it's just what comes in, the selection that comes and that we pursue to see what can be the best and most exciting festival of the year. Yeah. yeah. Because Carlos Saura is so well known for his trilogy, Flamenco mm -hmm. Trilogy. And now this is probably the final statement on flamenco and bringing all the different artists, both musicians and dancers, together for a performance. Oh, wow. and a wonderful space in Sevilla, which was uh, designed to be for the exposition and yeah. now is used for various events. So it's beautiful. Vittorio Storaro did mm -hmm. the cinematography. Yeah. And Carlos Saura, who mm -hmm. couldn't come, his son, ah. whom I call Carlosito, but I don't Carlitos. really know him yet, Carlito, <laughs> but really it's Carlos Saura Medrano, and he has been an AD on his dad's films for all these years and is one of the producers of Flamenco Flamenco, which is Saturday night and Sunday afternoon. I don't think we should keep separating it because as some of these installations will show, mm -hmm. dance and uh, art are coming together very mm -hmm. nicely in museum exhibitions, installations. There's one by Billy Cowie mm -hmm. at the Barishnikov space, which is quite wonderful with 3D glasses. You see mm -hmm. various things happening, images happening, so I think Actually, it's a synthesis of the arts that people are striving for. I don't think we should separate uh, a possibly Academy Award winning film, right, by mm -hmm. Darren Aronofsky, Black Swan, which uh, he is not mm -hmm. a dance person, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but he made a film which is a psychological thrill or something. You know, it's, it's not strictly speaking about dance, but it mm -hmm. uses dance as a metaphor for passion and yeah. uh, conviction and, uh, you know, there are lots of psychological problems that the young dancer has. Yeah. So it seems like dance is a subject all kinds of people mm. want to tackle in their own way. And I've written lots of articles. Articles, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, dance has be always been my first passion. Um, I, I danced, uh, you know, I took classes, ballet mm -hmm. and jazz and mm -hmm. modern dance, <laughs> all of it. And um, I've always been interested in it as an art form. In the beginning, it was just dance by itself. But then it evolved and my other love is film, so it's a natural progression for me to go from one to the other. And when they're combined, it's the ideal, you know. So... Um, I'm interested in theater. I'm interested in all the arts. Technology. Yes, dance technology. I'm not the expert on dance technology, but I can tell you that Pierre Coulebeuf and Marina Abramovitz worked together, and I showed their films in Dance on Camera to get one film on her that he made. Mm -hmm. He's in all the museums. She was at MoMA yeah. as an installation, which was quite mm -hmm. extraordinary. I definitely think there's a progression towards installation. I think that's a very, uh, it's, it's something which is in the air and is happening and uh, I need to know more about it. <laughs> well, thank you very much and let's keep the conversation. All right, let's keep it going. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you.